Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Deus Ex Human Revolution. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as uh, we take out that guy over there, because we are in a boat. Does he turn back? I think he turned back already. There's one upstairs. Is he turned back? Can't quite tell. He's not. Okay. Oh, he turned back now. Okay, I need to be very careful here. He's patrolling. Hi. Oh, I didn't punch you. I thought I was gonna punch you. You know, like I've been doing to everyone. Hello. You just have money. Why does the game keep giving me money, I wonder? Will I be able to get anything? Uh, uh, more to the point, did I lose all my money? I did not lose all my money. So I lost all my items. But not my money. I. Okay, that's. Maybe I will indeed need money at the end of the game or something. Okay, well, that's the easiest hack. Access Gran. Gran. Access is indeed Gran. It's the guy upstairs. Is he going to give up? It's bad news. I have nowhere to go, nowhere to hide. Nowhere to run. I don't know how the song goes. Okay. No, he shouldn't give up. He should be able to... Uh, detect... That it needs to go to that door. No punching. Uh, I guess I punched a little. Okay. Pocket secretary. What do we have? Codes. Good. Just in time for my maxed out hacking to not earn me anything. I wonder if, if I had practice points if I would have lost them I could see it I could see me not losing the practice points you know if I didn't spend them but then again probably I would have oh this is our objective here I didn't mean to do it oh it's over there I can open it, I think. The good thing is this camera is slow as molasses, so... And also it doesn't see underneath. The most basic technological feature of security cameras in the world. Not actually basic, there's there's a, there's a some security features, security cameras. Really old ones, like 30 or 40 years ago, that did not see underneath them. Access Gran. Access Gran. Okay, so I'm thinking there's going to be more of them back here. You have to admit it, a tough sons of bitches, especially Burke, he doesn't look it, but the guy... Burke doesn't look it! The guy must be 60. Oh no, yeah, yeah. You afraid he'll hypnotize you or something? Get rid of his odds and he's just another old man. Same with all those spec-off assholes. They're nothing without their offense. Maybe, but you can't say they aren't effective. I heard rumors about what they did in the pirate town off New Guinea. Scorching. So that just reinforces that point that I made a while back in this Let's Play. That is, augmentations are just like weapons. The arguments made in this game that I don't think are particularly relevant, uh, but the arguments that, I, that are made by this game in regards to wanting to stop augmentations because everybody's going to be very powerful are the same arguments that can be made for... or not all the same arguments, but they can also be made in regards to controlling weapons because, you know, otherwise people are too powerful. Obviously, there's other arguments to be made in regards to uh, controlling weapons, but that... Oh, this is... This is gonna be tricky, isn't it? Hmm. It's another one of those. Another one of those situations. We'll see. Let me save the game here. Uh, but yeah, I mentioned that before. It's just like, take, take care... Uh, he says... 
uh, get rid of his augs and he's just another old man. Get rid of your armor and weapons and you're just a fool. I mean, not old, I assume. Then it's, it, it, you can't do anything to me. I'll punch you. You literally cannot do anything. You can come to me trying to punch me. I'll press Q and kill you. And if I can press Q and kill you, I'm sorry, knock you out. Uh, I will eat a chocolate. I will eat a chocolate and knock you out. Please don't do what you're trying to do. I'll shoot you in the balls. Please take your balls away, sir. Thank you. Now, line of sight doesn't. You see, you see why it's difficult. That guy would definitely see me, because that's how human eyes work. We see things easier or movement easier at the edge of our line of sight, and uh, yeah, we're definitely at the edge of his line of sight. But not in this game, which is fine. It's usually how. Uh, stealth games work anyway. So let's just enjoy for a little bit, because I don't want to eat the chocolate. Also, I don't know what key I have to click. Still don't have... Oh, come on. <laughs> I had so many, like 40. 40 of those things. I could have just gone through the game shooting everybody unconscious and being detected every time. Just like, oh, you detect me. That's fine. I'll shoot you unconscious. Bang! You need to time that properly as well. Because I think to, in order to take him out with a single punch, without killing him, that is, uh, because that is the point of, uh, you know, pressing Q there, I think in order to take him out, you need to hit him in the temple. Because that jostles the brain sideways. And it's very, very bad for your brain, and in fact can indeed kill you. But then again, anything can kill you if you have, like, an aneurysm or something that, you know, just like... A, a time bomb in your brain, which is possible. Some people do have, like, cerebral hemorrhages and stuff like that because they fall or something something minor like that. And uh, that just triggers the whatever issue they might have had in the brain. But. But. Yeah, we did everything, didn't we? Mm -hmm. um, but you, need, you do need to hit them in the temple as a principle. I say, as somebody who has never hit anybody in the head, or anybody, certainly not in the temple. Uh, and um, let's go this way. Oh, ah, it's fine. Yeah, these things are closed, but this one is not. Oh, what do we have here? Treasure? Well, some treasure. <laughs> Will I be able to do this? Access denied. No, I won't. Wow, that was unlucky. Quick load, because that's my game. <laughs> Mostly because I didn't have enough items. I completely failed. How likely was it that I was going to de be detected right away? Wow. That was... Oh, also, I'm in the wrong place. But it's good that I explored, because I didn't expect to find this bit over here. Because look at that. Yeah. So, not having a key here. Let's see. Hack. What do we have? Nope. Zoom out. This interface could be a lot better. 40%. 80%. Okay, so I want to do that. Should have come this way. Yeah, I can't stop. Access granted. I did it both. We got a stop worm and we lost a nuke. Okay, what are we get we're gonna get for our troubles here? Bear in mind it was completely out of the question that I wouldn't come in here. Obviously I would come in here. We have a rate of fire upgrade that we have zero need for. In fact, all of these upgrades we have very zero need for. Apparently, we can still upgrade our pistol. I'll continue doing that. Oh. Come on. How did I even... How did I even climb up there? Did you see that? Oh, I think... I see. 
Okay. Yeah, there's no reason for us to be here. We didn't even get the traveler upgrade or whatever it's called. Not upgrade. You know, the thing. What a shame. Got some rescue boats here. Can't see the camera. It is going this way. Let's see what we can pull off. Also, let me look at my praxis. Yep, just the one. Because if I had two, maybe I would be able to do some other stuff. Not really sure what I would do, but maybe I would have. Okay. And a puzzle for those who don't want to time their passage. Or even for those who do want to time their passage. Whoa. Okay, that's, that's bad. Let's do it properly. Because I don't have... No, I do have a stop. Yeah. Okay. The best thing to do is go there. And hope that I don't get detected. Wow. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> yeah. We only have this one chance. Okay. Oh, screw you. Will I do it? Access granted. We got a nuke virus. Yeah, I need those nuke viruses. I don't need the rest of the stuff. N too heavy. Your face. Heavy storms. Good visibility. Becoming poor in showers. Moderate. Your face is too heavy. Huh. It's a shame. It's a real shame. Okay, give me the easy ones. You're not gonna give me the easy ones. Come on. Okay, these are easy, but I don't trust the game, honestly. Do I trust the game? Wow. Did it. Pulled it off. Fortified enough things and did the thing. Access granted. For 50 bucks. Hmm. World satellite. We're probably going to be able to come... Oh. I was going to say we're probably going to be able to go into that vent just by the nature of us exploring and going into the other side of the vent. I was trying to hug that wall. Couldn't do it. Okay. This is a much faster camera. That wasn't the reason why it saw me. It's on me because I couldn't couldn't hug the wall proper. To CIC. These corridors are very empty. The CIC laser array active. We've got to make sure everything's by the book from now on. Affirmative. Everything seems to be in order. The CIC is secure. Good. I'm sure there's going to be a security procedures analysis once we dock. The command won't be happy about the breach. Listen, the automated systems were activated. They detected a stowaway and we detained them. Simple. There's no security concern on this ship. I think the concern is over who this guy is and what he's doing here. He sure didn't look like any pirate I've ever seen. That's above our pay grade. Let the big heads discuss that. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to be detected. I also don't think... Oh, that camera is looking in the right direction. I also don't think I have any clue. What are you doing here? No. This is because... This is the reason why we can't have nice things. I'm gonna shoot him. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. But I'm gonna shoot him right away because... Oh, come on! I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. Let's wait a little bit. This guy's not gonna see me, I don't think. Is the CIC laser array active? 
That's not how you initialize things. CIC with a dash. What a scrub. I'm sure there's going to be a security procedures analysis once we dock. Command won't be happy about the breach. Listen, okay. The automated systems were activated. I don't know what this guy's gonna do. I can't close this door. There's no security concern on this ship. I, I think find it really weird cool that he's moving this way. He's doing here. He sure didn't look like any pirate I've ever seen. I'm gonna punch this guy. Pay grade. Ah. Yeah. At least I can do that. I don't know about ghosts bonuses. But at this point, I don't care. <sighs> Ebook. Electrogravitic technology applications. These guys figured out electricity. Or, not electricity. They figured out gr uh, gravity. Because electricity and gravity, as far as we know, as far as we know, don't have anything to do with anything. Or with each other, I should say. Uh, but obviously, they have electrogravitic things, then... It might have something to do with it. It's a good thing this guy didn't come out here. I got you already, didn't I? Nope. Seriously? I think I can do it. <laughs> but that camera looks straight at me. Man, come on. Access granted. Did that camera not look at me? Yeah, it didn't. It doesn't detect you while you're hacking? That doesn't make any sense. Sure, it doesn't detect you while you're hacking. Let's move on. Dead ends galore in all of the computers. This is our destination. As far as I can tell, there's nobody in there. Don't know what these are. Mario level, maybe. Abstract of log. Weather over the last 24 hours. Uh, wind southwest. Uh, so, uh, just winds in general. Uh, moderate sea swell, rough sea swell, rough sea swell, moderate gale, whole gale, moderate to strong gale, strong gale, very high sea, very heavy swells, overcast. Yep. And then we have emergency mayday mayday. Affirmative haze. Oh, the 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 thing. To anyone who reads reads this, this is Hey Zenzu. Satcom is down and we are under attack. Unknown number of assailants aboard. Casualties reported. Requesting immediate assistance. Uh, uh, and that's from Bell Tower Associates. Affirmative, Hey Zenzu. Your situation has been reported and we are organizing a response team to assist. Please switch to low sec frequencies and change your channel address to 184.37. Stand by for second radio contact attempt from Lieutenant Commander Keitner. And also this is clearly a trap so that they don't ask for help anymore. Uh, radio log transcript over here. Tax 9. What the hell is that? Read as recorded. Hmm. Rifleman Bank situation. This is Hey Zenzu. How copy over? 5x5, five five, Hey Zenzu. Loud and clear. What is your situation? Stand by. Command. This is uh, Renegade Actual Sitrep over. This is Command. Send. Forward Cargo Security Detachment received contact with single un in unidentified personnel. Individual was hostile. As casualties were reported, hostile contact has been subdued and captured alive. Break. Casualties were reported? Is, that can't be us. And if it is, it is an oversight. Anyway, currently observing possible enemy entry point and sweeping hold, holds for further contact. Break. Will advise if come under further contact, but intend, but intent is to hold firm. Break. A request transport helicopter reinforcement and pickup delivery of prisoner on forementioned grid. How copy? Command solid copy on all requests. Uh, reference request wait out now look at them using out instead of over and out properly uh, but it's obvious that whoever wrote that knew how to how these things go because that sounded very very official and very correct I don't know how to talk in the radio like that confirmed arrival of commander Burke lieutenant commander Keitner and relief security entourage 
requesting permission to initiate pre-docking procedures. This is from Bell Tower Associates. Affirmative. Docking request accepted. We got a slot open. Following Commander Burke and Lieutenant Commander Keitner's security inspection, you are granted permission to approach and initiate pre-docking procedures outside loading bay 2. Uh, who's this to? Do you see how the froms and twos are different? I don't actually understand whose computer this is. Or what I'm looking at, honestly. We have another computer. We have potentially what I thought we were gonna find. Oh, that's the radio, the weather radio. That's what we heard from the little passage. It's an audio log here. Description from auto report at Bell Tower. Stasis pod critical, disrupted, vital cores, neuro nervous system stressed, neuroactivity low high, cardiac output extreme, occupant expiration imminent. Yeah, I did that already. There's an update? Is this the update? It's on the same stasis pod. Error reports none. Status of previous error reports. Uh, let's see. Power supply engaged. Energy level recharging. Auxiliary reserve of 11. Life support online. Nervous system stable. Neuroactivity optimal. Cardic, uh, cardiac output optimal. Overall optimal. That's, that's, uh, you can go from near di death to optimal. Uh, now we... Now, can we get a team down there to clean up the rest of the bloody mess? We still got a bleeding hole the size of your mum's ass in the floor of the forward cargo hold. Get on it. Uh, get on it. Oh, this is, there's an, a previous line. Whatever took care of that, or whoever took care of that, good on you. Is that what we saw? The hole? Maybe that's related. Don't quite know. Let's hack this. We have one of each. I really don't want to use them, because I had so many. Okay, that's lucky. Hack that. Should have, should have done something here. But it should be fine. We have 13 seconds. I think we are fine. Access granted. There we go. This doesn't open. You lied to me, video game. You lie to me so hard uh, every time. Unsettled weather affecting Tyler. Richard. Francis Pritchard isn't going to be hearing you anytime soon, Bratan. Not only is this close to the base, he's jamming away. Who the hell are you? Someone who's gone through a lot of trouble to make your escape look like accident. So far, your skill at playing the ghost is working in our favor. But it's only a matter of time before those around you realize you slipped a brick. Get to the aft cargo bay. Find the sally port there and enter it. You're going to encounter more resistance. But the longer you stay undetected, the better off your future will be. I am trying to stay undetected. I didn't like how you changed the color, though. I don't like that. Niner, North 7 to severe gale 9. Heavy storms, good visibility becoming poor in showers, moderate ice. I don't like any of this. I think we're safe. On the uh, radio front. Are we gonna be good? Yeah. Access granted. Delta Echo November, Southwest Gale 8 to Storm 10. We're still safe. There's enemies though. I think we're gonna be fine. The enemies seem to be bad at being enemies. I did save. This hacking is very important now, or hacking, not hacking, but the um, Access grant. shielding is very important now. Okay, I don't know where these guys are going. How did that guy not see me? Where is it? It's not what I meant to do. Punch. Butt to the wall. Who the hell is that? Got you fuck. No. Nope. <laughs> what is? What is screw up? 
I am off this way then. I see an enemy. Oh, look at me going into this door. What the hell? What does it actually do? Okay, well, I, I don't... The good thing is we know they don't patrol in this direction. So let's see what these computers have for us. Unless they can look through the window, which, you know, they should be able to. Okay. Can shield that one. Did we do it? I think we did. Yeah. Access granted. Hank Blake wrote, I didn't ask for theories, private. Oh, there's a previous... Oh, there's a lot of uh, things over here. Martin Hayes says, Sir, something is up. After we came aboard, I questioned some of the crew, and they reported hearing an explosion of some... Uh, uh, back in Port Hanny. Hanming. I'm looking at that guy, I'm, and uh, I'm being distracted. Back in Port Hanming. Apparently, there was a lot of commotion from the ground team before loading the Delta cargo, which contained the stasis pod our stowaway rode in on. No one seemed able to get their story straight, so I can't tell if the explosion was part of an attack or just an accident. That line break there is weird. But why none of the, these events were recorded or even reported to HQ is beyond me. It's possible... It's possible someone intentionally hid this information from Central or wanted to prevent Command from hearing about it. I think someone is intentionally sabotaging us, Hayes. And then the reply is... I didn't ask for theories, Private. I asked for answers. I'll be in contact with the seaport as soon as the storm lets up and our SATCOM array is back online. In the meantime, I want the ship's personnel manifest and last known destination and departure logs now. I'm on it, but the ship's security team is a skeleton crew at best. And they're pretty shaken up. Even with the stowaway locked up in the brig, I'm still getting complaints of fal false positives in the security system and bullshit maintenance calls. Might be the storm knocking a few screws loose the, in the onboard AI, or it might be something else. All I'm saying is this could be a lot more serious than we think. That's probably the EMP things. Delivery confirmation of forwarded messages from uh, mail recipients. We have a lot of messages over here. Anchor depart, Hanning, Hencha vessel... Anchored as before. Anchored as before. Made regular routine security checkups. I don't see anything here that would matter. Anchored as before. Crew secured from the ship. Anchored as before. Made regular routine. Yeah, I don't. I don't see anything here. And then we have. Commander, our unit arrived aboard the Hang Zen Zoo without incident. I'm current. Currently in the process of coordinating with Lieutenant Black on damage control, and we have initiated ghost protocol across all teams. As requested, I've forwarded a transcript of the official ship log manifest from the day before the Hang Zen Zoo left port in Hangsha. The hours following 2400 are absent since it seems the following day's report is missing or was never logged. I've also confirmed that there was in fact an attack on our men in Port Hanming, and that an explosion possibly from an IED, because of course it would have been, uh, went off inside the Delta warehouse. IED means just improvised explosive device. Why would it be an IED? Why would it be an improvised explosive device in a warehouse? <laughs> anyway, because uh, it's not like an explosion in a market or or in a in a uh, forest or something like that where you wouldn't expect to have targets because you know there's there's no like money in it. You know what I mean? There's no money in blowing up those places. Unless, of course, you're the one selling the bombs. In which case, there might be. And what I mean to say is when there's money involved, there's no IEDs, is what I'm saying. Uh, information is still spotty as ComSec is struggling with uh, transmission interference from the storm and we can't establish a solid, a solid line. And the reply is, so let me get this straight. Someone, possibly our little guest, infiltrates one of our high security sectors, sets off a bomb, and boards one of our ships, and no one deems this information fit to report until now. I'm coming aboard, prep him for interrogation, and I don't want... This is to Blake, yeah. Then I don't want anyone's, uh, any more surprises. That's the wrong anymore, though. Lieutenant, sweep this ship top to bottom again. Yeah, but he also said set off a bomb instead of set a bomb off. So I suppose it's okay to say the wrong anymore. Uh, what do we have over here? Uh, this is to Blake as well from Peters. 
the previous ones weren't from Peter. Sir, it looks like an EMP chair is drawing too much, or the EMP chair is drawing too much power from our auxiliary generators, affecting the primaries, because we're getting fluctuations all across the grid in some systems, including camera securities are randomly going offline. It's pretty bad. Well, it's either the chair or someone is fucking with us. You're sure the sweep teams cleared everything? From Alex. Uh, Postscriptum. I spoke to IT about the storage codes. They say they're just following protocol to deal with it. Post postscriptum. Their words, not mine. That that is. That's. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, I need to. Okay. Someone is running. Look at you being also perceptive and stuff. How? What are you gonna do about it? You're gonna screw up. I think you're gonna screw up. Wow. Look at you. You're actually not that bad. Although you are really bad. Because why didn't you explore more? You know this is a room. You know I can hide in places. And now I have your frag grenade. Do you like that I have your frag grenade? He likes that I have his frag grenade. That's, that's why. That's what happened just then. Okay. So, I'm gonna go probably against that guy because I need a chocolate. Let's see. Three. Yeah. Chocolate time. Don't look back. Star thrusters? They have thrusters. Hmm. Down you go. Yeah, these guys just spawned. Because I was here before. It's difficult to know if I was here before or not, but this, this place is actually pretty identifiable. This is what identified it for me, though. Open vents. Speaking of open vents, I completely missed this one. I mean, it's okay for me to miss this one from here, but not from here. What a scrub. What a scrub that I am. But we're out of time for today. So for right now, I'm Kirill RPG, and this has been Deus Ex Human Revolution. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.